And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey folks, I'm Tom Vassell. Hey Melody. And today we're taking a look at a game from Looney Labs called Lunacy. <laughs> a Lunacy game. Well, actually Looney Labs, most people know them. They've made uh, a lot of different games, uh, Flux, and uh, different games uh, that revolve around Flux and things like that. And this is one of their uh, newest games that just came out, Lunacy. It's a real-time card game in which you match things. This is a very, very simple game. Let's take a look. Now, Lunacy is a deck of cards, and this deck of cards is made up of cards that basically have two different objects on them. For example, this one here has a toaster and a clock. Here we have a toaster and an alien spaceship, a brain and a heart, a heart and the earth, sun and a butterfly, a monkey and a car, and so on and so forth. There's a uh, anime Statue of Liberty and the American flag, a Scottish Terrier and a door from another dimension. The Loonies, who are the people who created Looney Labs, and a dog, etc. So, what you're going to do is you're going to deal seven cards to each player. You're then going to have a deck that's possible for people to draw from, and then you're going to have one or more discard piles. Now, if there are five players, you have one discard pile. If there's four, you have two. If there's three, you have three. And if there's only two players, you have four discard piles. So let's say we're playing a four-player game. So there's two discard piles out here. And one person's going to say, go. And I will look at my hand here as fast as I can. And I'm going to see if any of the symbols on my cards match. Now, one of the things I like you to notice here about these cards is that there's two symbols on the card, but they're also printed on both sides. So you don't have to click flip them upside down. You can see Statue of Liberty and uh, Holy Grail. And so I look at my cards and I see, do any of my cards match any of those symbols? And in this instance, I don't think any of them do. But that's not so bad because one of my opponents is also looking at these symbols and seeing if they can match something and hopefully they can play something out on their turn. Um, so they play this one here, which now becomes a sun and that funky looking jewel. So as I look at that, I look and I still can't play anything. But then someone else plays a sun and the moon. So I look at my cards again. I still can't play anything. Wow, I wish I could play something. Here someone plays chocolate and a funny bunny. And then they play a bunny and an alien. And I'm getting a little bored over here because there's not a lot that I can play. Someone here plays the moon and the earth. Bam! I'm in the game. So I instantly play earth and Statue of Liberty. Play Statue of Liberty and Hourglass on top of that. And that's pretty much all I can do. But you see, if I ever see pizza out there, I'm going to go boom, boom, boom and play all three of those cards. The game is in real time and you can play cards as quickly as you want to. You're trying to get rid of all the cards in your hand. If nobody can play a card, and this will happen occasionally, then everybody draws a card from the draw pile. They don't look at it and then at the same time they turn it over and they see if they can keep playing. If that doesn't work, you draw again. If for some reason all the cards in the draw pile are gone, you take all these cards, shuffle them and do it again. I have probably taken longer now to explain this game to you than it actually takes to explain the game. You're simply playing cards as fast as you can to match one of the two symbols on top of one of the discard piles. The first person to get rid of all the cards in their hand is the winner of the game. All right, Melody, what did you think here of Lunacy? I thought it was a lot of fun. I especially like this game with a lot more people because it gets a lot more crazy with just one pile and everyone trying to get their cards out as fast as they can. I especially like it if you had like a hole, if all your cards match with one symbol or another and you could just keep playing them on over and over again. Right, obviously this game, because it's a real-time game, will run into the problem possibly where people put their cards out at the same time and you have to determine who put their card out first, the other person takes their card back. Although possibly if you're both putting out the same, if there's like a car there and you both put out cards with a car, it doesn't really matter um, because you're both going to be able to play your cards on top of each other. Melody is right, the game is much better with more with two. Yeah, I mean, you can still play this game, but it just doesn't have that same kind of chaotic fun. This is a four or five player game, I would think. Uh, this game doesn't really bring anything new to the table. I can't think of anything this game does that I haven't seen before. There are games where you play cards out fast and try to match symbols. 
Uh, the only thing I can say that's different about this one is the fact that the cards are so cleanly done. The pictures on them are really easy to see. The, they're really easy to match up. They look different. The artwork is very well done. So this game isn't going to shake the heavens at all, but it's a game that I could introduce to people and it's really easy to teach and they'll be able to jump into it right away. Mm -hmm. Did you like the artwork on the cards? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I did. So uh, I, as, as this is, I'm, I'm going to recommend it if you want to play this style game. That is not a cop-out, but what I mean is there's games where you can play cards fast. Some people like them, some people hate them. Obviously enough people like them, they do seem to sell well. I think this one is a good one because of how, like I said, how clean the graphic design is. But whether you like this game or not, it's going to determine on whether you think the idea of putting cards down and matching sounds cool. If you think that idea sounds horrible, then run far away from Lunacy. Otherwise, this is a good game in this genre. As I said, it's nothing groundbreaking. It's just a solid entry, and I think it's a good game to give to a lot of people who wouldn't play many other games. What are your final thoughts? I liked it, but like my dad said, it's not like different from all the other games. Yeah, it just it's... And I, and I don't mean that to sound like a negative thing about the game. I, I, I think this game is a solid... This is a gift game, really. This is a gift game to give someone in lunacy. It sounds fun. They play it. It's a game that people are going to have a lot of fun playing over and over again. Gamers will sit there scratching their heads saying, shouldn't we play something else? And everyone else says, oh, we're having fun playing this game. The, those people who say, oh, we're having fun playing this game, those folks buy this for as a gift. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff, in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. Shut the door. Yeah. Yeah.